Knowledge Bomb episode 463, a refresher on heavy back extensions. All right, so what I like to do is make sure that the back extension with this angle, not this one, specifically feels like the top of a deadlift. So when I'm extending up, especially with plates, I'm envisioning that I'm locking out a big ass deadlift like I did today. 405 plus blacks, motherfucker. All right, so I usually, shout out Danny and Cole. Okay, yes. so, small. A couple small guys over there. <laughs> All right, so what I like to do is I look for hole 10, Danny. I, I like to make sure, so usually this is further back than probably most people would do it, so I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 is showing, all right? And I wanna make sure that when I get set up in this, my feet are actually tweaked out like a medium, like sumo stance, cause that's how I pull. I want my hips all the way supported. And then when I come down to grab whatever weight I'm using, I'm coming up and squeezing. When I'm squeezing here, I'm making sure that I'm getting my hips forward and that it's like I'm finishing the top of a deadlift. I cannot stress enough that you can overload this movement and really help your lower body lifts if you can emulate and get this feeling. Just like when I was pulling today, I've been able to do two, three, and four plates like this the last two weeks. When I finished my deadlift today, I could feel it because it's literally the exact same feel. So once again, make sure you have yourself set up where hips are fully supported, chest up, bend down, up like you're finishing the deadlift, and that's your refresher on heavy back extensions, episode 463.